the patient ox. The old farmer trudged behind his ox, gently guiding the laden cart down the dusty road. His wife walked beside him, carrying a basket of vegetables from their garden to sell at the market. The summer sun beat down, and flies buzzed around the ox's ears. But he plodded on at a steady pace, unperturbed. The farmer's young son, Ichiro, raced on ahead, throwing stones at birds and chasing dragonflies. Father, why don't we get another ox to help pull the cart so we can go faster, asked Ichiro as they entered the market. One ox is enough, said the farmer, as long as we are not in a hurry. He began to set up the vegetable stand, but wouldn't two oxen carry twice as much, insisted Ichiro. Then we could make a lot more money. More money doesn't always mean more happiness, his father replied. Greed is an endless pursuit. The patient ox is content to walk steadily, one step at a time. That is how we should live our lives, not chasing after more things or rushing to gain more ground. Ichiro shook his head, unable to understand his father's meaning. When their work was done for the day, the farmer guided the ox back home at the same unhurried pace. The next week, a traveling merchant came through the village with a young, strong ox for sale. This ox could plow your entire field in half the time of that old plotter you have now, said the merchant. Think of the time you'd save. Ichiro's eyes lit up at the prospect, but his father declined. The ox we have has served us well for many years and still has life left in him. We are not in a race to finish our work. Time saved does not always translate to time well spent. Still Ichiro persisted, wanting to lighten their load and speed their progress. But the old farmer would not be swayed. Have patience, my son. Do not wish your life away trying to accomplish and gain more in less time. Slow down. You will understand when you are older. The following spring, Ichiro awakened eagerly since today he would help his father plow the fields for the first time. But as they readied the ox, the old farmer suddenly clutched at his chest and collapsed, unconscious. Ichiro screamed for help and the village doctor came rushing. But it was too late. The farmer had passed away. Ichiro was inconsolable at the loss of his patient and wise father. The old ox stood there silently. As if mourning his master's death as well. When Ichiro looked into the ox's eyes, he suddenly understood what his father had been trying to teach him all along. He remembered his father's words, slow down. You will understand when you are older. Ichiro now saw that his father wasn't concerned with moving faster or gaining more. He taught the value of living each moment, one day at a time, of not wishing away one's life for some future gain. The patient ox embodied this for his father. With tears streaming down his face. Ichiro bowed low before the ox. Thank you, my old friend, for your years of service to my father. We will plow the fields together now at your own steady pace, and I will walk beside you, one step at a time, just as my father did. The ox dipped his head gently, as if nodding in agreement. And from that day onward, the patient old ox and Ichiro worked side by side, slowly and steadily, no longer in a hurry to finish or move on to the next task. Ichiro learned to live as his father had, finding meaning not by racing ahead but by fully living each moment. And he was content.